March 14th is National Pie Day. And while math isn't my strong suit, I surely know I have enough teeth to eat. Cheers. With San Angelo on spring break, the children aren't learning 3.14 today, but I still wanted to find the story behind pie with an E in the city. My first stop was Sugar High Bake Shop. This place doesn't have what the owner called your grandma's pie. The pie crust is actually chocolate chip cookie. Um, we have layers of peanut butter, Nutella, chocolate, marshmallow fluff, and then it's topped off with chopped butterfingers. Uh, it is divine. Sabrina didn't know today was pie day, but the people placing orders ahead of time might have because between yesterday and this morning we've sold out again, yes. Maybe next time, but you saw me seated with a slice of pecan pie at Dunbar Restaurant. When I walked in, the owner Charlie Blanick was at the counter finishing a slice of lemon pie. Oh, the pie is wonderful. It is homemade all the way through. And Blanick's pies have been homemade for decades. My dad made pies 60 years ago. Yeah. This fall will be 65 years right here. But so I guess it's longer than that. Blanick even says he has a customer from New Mexico who has her own restaurant. He says she'll bring his pies back home to sell them. When I asked him why he would let someone else sell his family's homemade pies, he said, oh, It didn't make any difference. We, we, we sold them so she can, she can resell them. The pies at Dunbar are obviously popular. I met a man there who had a slice of pie with a plate of onion rings. Plenty of customers had their slices wrapped in foil to go. A festive way to celebrate a holiday many of them don't know exists. Sean Humphrey, Fox West Texas.